No, I, I'll read that book and I'll, I'll see if that's if that's the case. It's the first time I've heard that. Okay. okay. Well, all right. I think you can see the point that kindness is perfectly preserved, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. That's the point for you. Well, that's according to the scholars I quote. I mean, you can ask my religion, but that's the same deal. Because the question is, which one is divinely revealed? Is yeah. it king or is it all? Well, I guess it's a little complicated. The... Because there's supposed to be seven and Also, keep in mind that you guys are Christians. You guys misinterpret everything. That's right. a, why that's, would you that's, think that's 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 says there are seven viable different ways that you can recite the Quran. They're called the Aruf. Yeah. I can get the Hadith, it's Sahih al-Bukhari and that's as well. So that must mean there are seven valid ways of reciting the Quran. But according to your scholars, it's ten. How did that happen? That was the first time I heard that. That's interesting. Yeah. You should look it up. Because what people are saying is that, well, actually, Uthman, you know Uthman canonized the Quran. Do you know about that canonization process? No, no, what's that? Okay, well, so the third caliph. People like that. Yeah, so, so Uthman put together a committee around 652 time to around 656. And he put together this committee to collect different Quranic materials from different places because there were reports of people arguing about what the Quran was because they differed. He then decided to standardize it into one uh, Qureshi dialect, to one standard reading. And then he burnt all the other Quranic materials and he sent it out to the five different cities. So you had Kufa, Shah, Medina, Mecca, and so on. My point is, is that if there's meant to be seven readings, where are they? I, I don't know. Where do you think they are? I think they'll be destroyed. I think that six out of seven valid readings for your Quran are destroyed. Yeah, so. they are within all the recitation we have today. Six out of seven is the majority. Listen, the listen, majority. listen. Who do you think destroyed them? They are them? all within, them. all within. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Who do you think destroyed them? Why do you think destroyed them? They are within. I don't know, I know, I know. It's time when you said that there's no manuscript story. It just says that there were manuscript material. But look, 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 Are you looking for an answer or are you looking for a... That's a good question. Are you looking for a... Why are you interjecting? Why are you interjecting? Why are you looking for a... Why are you interjecting? Why are you interjecting? That's a two-fold question. Whether that is, whether it was or was not the case that the Bible was preserved or not, because that's why I know about Christians. You guys just project your insecurities about your religion onto Muslims. Hold on, I was talking. You're That's a two-core way fantasy. If we're asking about the Quran, and then you say, well, what about the Bible? That's fallacious as well. Have you guys done a basic like logical fallacy? I'm a conversationalist. Do you want to debate? Do you want to debate? I don't know how to debate. I just know how to have a conversation. Yeah, because also you try to do to me as well. You try to turn it on to me. Ask us about the Quran. Would you like to have it done? Yeah, I'm not that question. So the problem is I'm finding with you here is that you don't know that your reason is fallacious and instead of actually... I can't even hear you, you can't even look at me in the eyes when you're talking. I'm not autistic, so I don't typically make eye contact. So why should I talk to you then? Oh, you can't talk to me because I'm autistic? You clearly have issues. Clearly have issues, right? Oh, so like Hamza, you like to be ableist. Two Muslims now. Right. So Shocking action from an Islamist making fun of a guy with disabilities. This is standard behavior from them. The victim card. The second Muslim apologist who likes to be ableist oh, yeah. and make fun of me for my autistic spectrum disorder. This is uh, this is.